It is the middle of winter and this beef and plantain soup will warm you right up and I'm going to show you how to make it. The first thing I'm going to do is to cut up my vegetables. And I've just thinly sliced celery and next I am going to peel and chop one carrot. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am Gian and I run a blog, giancancook.com, where I share a ton of recipes. And if you're interested in making this beef soup, I will have the full recipe linked below in the description box. The next thing I'm going to do is to finally chop an onion. And for this soup, I didn't add a ton of vegetables. I just kept it fairly simple and used what I had in hand. So we have the combination of the carrots and the onions and I added the plantains just to give it a little bit of body. But at the same time, we did want to keep it fairly light. So you will notice that I did not use any dumplings in this soup. Next, I'm going to peel and finally dice several cloves of garlic and this is going to give this soup a lot of flavor. Next, I am going to cut and peel the plantains. And as you can see, I am just putting three slits along the skin and you just want it to just go through the skin and not to cut the actual plantain. And then I am going to place my thumb between the peel and the plantain and just peel it back. And as you can see, I'm using plantain that is not quite green, but not quite ripe just yet, but it is still firm. For the meat, I've used a combination of beef soup bones and beef shank, and I've just cut the meat into small cubes. I've added about a teaspoon of oil to my cast iron pot, and then I'm gonna add the beef in one layer, and I am just gonna let it brown on both sides. Once the meat has that nice crust, I am going to add the carrots, onions, and celery and just stir this around and allow the vegetables to cook for about three to five minutes just until the celery and onions have softened. Then I'm going to add the finely diced garlic and just stir this around and allow it to cook for about 30 seconds to a minute just until it becomes fragrant before adding my beef stock. Using the beef stock is going to give this so much flavor. I've also added some water, so basically half beef stock, half water. To that I've added bay leaf, thyme, and I'm also adding black pepper and one habanero pepper. And I'm going to give this all a good stir and allow it to come to a boil. Next, I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to use my spoon to skim off that little foam that rises to the top. And then I'm going to turn this down to about medium low and cover it and allow it to cook until the beef is tender before adding the plantains. And I'm also adding whole scallion. As you can see, it's cooked down because this took quite a while for the beef to become tender. So I am adding additional water and a good tip is to have a kettle on the side or a pot with hot water so you can add it to your soup as it cooks. And I'm just removing that bundle of thyme, bay leaf and the scallion. And this is a little trick that I do to remove the excess fat from soups and stews without having it to cool completely. I just skim the top of the soup and place it into my gravy separator and it pretty much separates the gravy from the fat. And I just pour the gravy back into the pot and discard the fat. And this works really well as you can see. Thank you guys for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe. If you try this recipe, share it with me over on Instagram at Cook, and I will see you guys in the next one.